guys, so this is the beginning of 3030 where I'm going to attempt to create 30 React components in 30 days and the first one, you guessed it, it's going to be a button because buttons are the easiest thing. So I, I'm going to tell you what I have right now. So what I have right now is React Style Guidest. Guidest. It's if I could, if I could type. So I have React Style Guidest set up uh, and I think that's pretty much it. So as you can see, it's pretty much set up. Also, I have the I have designs that I got from Marco Lopez. It's, it was a free UI kit uh, that I will use throughout this course, course throughout this experiment that I will try. And as I, I told in uh, in GitHub, these videos will probably not be edited unless my mom uh, or my my roommates actually come home and I have to stop the video. Other than that, this pro these videos will probably not be edited, so I will fuck up in most of them. So I have components, and I also added a variable that CSS that I got from Zeppelin, because Zeppelin is the best thing that ever stepped foot on this earth. It totally is. Okay, so I have this, and I gotta create a readme file. This readme file I can create button.md file, and in here I have to set an example. I have used uh, Rexel Edits before. I use it at work. So example, I'm missing one. And I have to create a button. I am by no means a React expert or anything like that. So if I reload the page, I don't think I can create a button.md. I think I really actually need to create a uh, thing.md. Let me see. I don't think that works. Rename. Oh, it just popped up. Probably need to like start this over again. Got an example. Okay, this so this is what I have. I don't know why it's telling me that it doesn't exist. Let me stop the server and start it again. This usually doesn't happen. Should should have created the README before too. But the experience wouldn't be so good. Yeah, okay, there we go. My components. So this is all using Lato and I'm already gonna open this prematurely because I know stuff will happen and oh there we go there you go there's already an error from react style guidance okay so let's create a button okay so let's first define what props a button has so uh, it has a children which can basically be a string a number or an element probably so I'm gonna set this are props that children children as a prop children and I'm gonna set to this to string this by if you don't know is flow number or elements to type it like this okay so then we have disabled 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 blood disabled how do you how do you, how do you type disabled and in Portuguese by the way so I have an excuse for this god damn it maybe I'm the disabled Okay, disabled, which is going to be a boolean. So disabled is either true or false. What do you need more? What do you need more than a button? A class name. So basically, class name, uh, which is going to be a string. I don't know what you need more than a button. Although, okay, an on click. On click, which is going to be a function. I don't know why, why I just did that. Function. And what else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. Okay, let's start creating this. Okay, so I do not need this. I do need this. Okay, never mind. So, what is this going to return? This is going to return me a button. Where disabled totally could type equals this that props, props that disabled. Okay, and class name. I'm gonna be using um, class names for this. Class name equals class names, and I'm gonna add this that props that class class name. So the class name that the, the person added. If they add more than one, it's totally fine. Class name and style. Just if I can write style that button. Okay, so this is going to be the button style. Uh, I also need an on click. 
and this is going to be equal to this dot props dot click. Okay, let me just close this, and in here we are going to have this dot props dot children with the curly thingies. This dot props dot children. And I think there's an error. Prop type is fine, but prop type is never used because I screwed up. Because in this case, it's not this that props, it's props. There we go. And this is on click. No errors. So far, so good. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to use a class button and I'm going to outline none and I'm going to background it with a beautiful black color. Just let's see if it works. It's supposed to more than one until one. Okay, it's all in. Shut up. Yeah, it kind of it totally works. Okay, so let's go to the README and let's add some text inside it because what is a button without any text, right? Button. And uh, what text should I put in here? Welcome. That should be enough. Okay, so that looks like shit, guys. So let's use this. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little guy. And the thing about this is that it uses widths and heights, and I don't really like that. So I'm gonna set the padding. So, so, the button will have an outline of none, a border of none, and this border radius of three pixels. This background color can go away because I've set the colors. And uh, I always open this, I don't know why. And the padding is, is 37. Okay, this is not perfectly aligned, so I'm gonna go with 36 and 15. I don't remember to which side it was. Yes. Should I set it to the width? I should set it to the width. Maybe not the height, but the width. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna set it to the width. If anybody has anything against that, just let me know in the comments if you think that's a horrible idea. So the width of 150 pixels. Do take 150 pixels. I will um, display this as flex. Align items to center and justify content to center. I will set the panning equal to, let me see again, 16 pixels. Let me see again. Let's see how this looks. This, okay, it, it could be a lot worse, guys. Okay, so just at the type. I will delete most of this stuff, just don't worry about it. So this is the text. I don't need this. And I don't need this. And a lot of space in the align height, it's basically the default. So let's just use this and remove this too. So that looks really good. So we have a button. So that's cool, but does it do anything? Let's see. Let me add an on click. And this on click will just be a function that will return uh, console.log. It totally works. We still only. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter really, does it? Okay, it totally works. Okay, let me see if I can add more class names. So. Okay, so this is gonna be a console.log example. And this is gonna be. A class name example. Just, okay, I'm gonna curse a lot. I curse a lot, so to, I I warned you guys. This is not a tutorial. Why did they put, keep putting me? I don't. I hate you. Okay, there we go, and there we go. So let me add a class name. Class name equals awesome stuff. Let me see, it adds the class name. So let me come here and it adds on some stuff. See? Isn't that amazing? Okay, so what do I have here now? I have the children. Okay, so now let's set the disabled. So let me set this to disabled equals true. So uh, disabled disabled. God damn it, dude. Disabled equals true. Cannot send it like the way we were sending it because that would uh, mean it was a string. 
So let's see if this is disabled. This is. I don't know why this isn't like looking. Okay, so let me see if this one is disabled. Great, it's totally disabled. Oh, awesome is that? Okay, let's set up the styles for the disabled. I actually have that in here. So disabled as this. So basically, the only thing that changes is the color of the background. So let me come here and disable it. Is this properly written? Because I have no idea. Let me copy this again. Disable it. Okay. So that totally did not work. Did it? Oh, we kind of did. How did that work? And it looks like shit. Because it has the same color, apparently. What? What? That color is right up here. You tell me how oh, these two things are the same color, Mr. Zeppelin. I'm going to do the sketch, guys. I'm so sorry about this. Open it anyway. I mean, no care about the font. Okay, let me come here. And let me get this little guy. Okay, so. Oh! So the thing that is changing is the opacity. So that is damn bullshit. Okay, what? So this is with Okay, okay. Uh, what am I this color? You need to click it like a thousand times. So basically, it's the same color, but, but the opacity is, I don't remember, let me check it out again, 0 0.24, okay, I don't know, I know Slack, no, and the opacity of this is 0 0.24, which I don't think it's a very good idea, but okay, I think this is what it was after, is it the same guys, I think it looks the same, uh, also the text, Got this part text. Transform. Upcase. Yes. Okay, so we have buttons. But the thing is, no matter how cool these buttons are, and they're pretty goddamn cool if you look at them, they do all that you ask of them. Um, usually need types for buttons, right? Yeah. Okay. So this guy has. I'm sorry, I'm going to close this again. I'm just going to assume that everything is 0 0.24 now. Okay, so this guy has here the secondary buttons. So these are the primary. So I need to set here a uh, type. Hmm, what do I call this? What do you call this? You don't call this anything. Okay, cool. So cool, guys. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna set this to type. So type can be primary, secondary, ghost, or dark. So type is a string. So type is, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna create a new type of stuff. Where is this? This keeps telling me this, I don't know why. It's more than installed, you saw it working. Uh, type types. That looks kind of weird, so I'm gonna say button types. Button types equals primary, uh, secondary, secondary, and uh, ghost. I think there's another one, but. There's dark, but okay, I'm gonna do this three. Secondary and ghost. Okay, so there's something on my screen. Oh no, it's just weird. Okay, so and now type it has to be one of button types. If it's not, it's gonna throw me an error. Prop type is defined, but prop type is never used. So, and this is gonna be this that props that type. So, but this thing needs to be, needs to have a default. So basically, the default. I need to set a, um, let's set a default, okay. So button type is a fun prop type is never used, so this props that type. Okay, so basically everything is okay. I just need to do one thing here, so props that type exists, then props that type. If not, just set it to primary. So basically what this does is, if there's a props that type, use it. If there's not, just set it to primary so the person doesn't have to actually always send the props that type. So as you can see, this one is set to primary. So the next thing I'm going to do is put n.primary in here. And this is going to have these two things. 
and this disabled is going inside of it. So let's move the space, and now we'll check if it's working. And oh my god, it's totally not. What did you expect, Sarah? Turn style primary. Okay. He's not adding like the um, fingers to it. I don't know why. No, I'm sorry. So I need to set style that. What props that type? If props that type, then go to the style and get the props that type of that style. And it should only work now, but I think it's still not gonna work here. That's so. so, okay, that should totally work. So, oh yeah, style that primary. In the in the other case, it should be that style that primary. I was setting it to okay, it exceeds, it exceeds. Okay, let me just bring this up a bit so that. Yes, and does not complain, and every and everyone is happy. Just do this. Okay, there we go. Totally does work. Okay, let's create the other two. Sorry, my headphones just fell. You can see, yeah, this is all gonna go. So let's head. Uh, I don't know why this keeps complaining. I swear to God, I really like this instead. So all of this examples will have a type of secondary. Let me just okay. So yeah, this one will have the same thing, and this one will have the same. I'm really lazy, as you can see by this. Damn it! No. Yes. Yes. Okay. So top secondary doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna come here and do one secondary and top secondary. And let me get them styles, girl. The secondary button is this, is this background color, and the color is the same. Yeah, color is the same. Okay, cool. So this is the background color, and the color is the GYT, this to be GTX. Going insane. I will fit you the G, so I'm pretty much going insane because of them. Oh, so that's cool. Oh yeah, I gotta put them in the div. This works as as this. Um, I'll put this in the section because it's a section of buttons. Section. Good. Cool. Section. Section. And another section. Oh, I totally forgot about the hover styles. Okay, we'll add that at the end. Tell you about this. Okay! Then that totally worked. That totally worked. Okay, so let me just do one thing and do. Here, yeah, okay. Style equals display flex. Let's see if that did anything. Nope, the style properties. Oh, yeah, this must be like, um, oh, I need to do this in the JSX. Okay, never mind. Just let it be this way, people. Okay, there we go. So, this is this is this. Oh, so the disabled thing in here. We'll have the same thing in the opacity, it will be that one. Oh, I don't need this, and let me just copy this outside because it's gonna be the same for everyone. Yeah, so that looks decent, I think. Does that look like the buttons? In this case, it really doesn't because the color is completely different. Okay. It looks like shit. I don't know why this looks like shit. Because I need to, like, I can add opacity. I need to. <sighs> X to a GBA, guys. I need to X to a GBA this goddamn thing. Oh shit. Okay, so this is a GBA. And this background column is to come here. Stop for a couple of minutes. But now I'm gonna set this background color and I don't mean in here. 
So this primary will be like this, because this is perfectly fine. And this disabled will have this color will have this color as the background because I think that's the main issue. Okay, so let's come here and see if the thingy is still running. Yes it is. So that's not perfect, okay? But wait, wait, I keep forgetting the thing. Actually that is pretty damn close. I opened Slack again, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna push this up here. Like, yeah, that is pretty damn close, so I'm just gonna give it a little less thingy, so 0 0.8 or something. And that is pretty damn close. Mm, maybe less, let me just see. So this is turning into a CSS lesson, guys. So I'm really picky about this stuff. <laughs> oh, crap, okay. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Yeah, 0 0.4. I'm gonna leave it at 0 0.4, and uh, we're gonna keep keep with our lives. Okay, 0 0.4 in on this one, and I forgot to put the cursor or pointer in here. And uh, what is this? What? Vector empty. Okay, that was my mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So we need the ghost one. Did I already make that in the index? Already done. So let's come here, and I'll just copy and paste the secondary. And call it ghost. Okay, ghost. Okay, ghost. And I'm gonna add a ghost one here. Uh, this is the disabled one. Okay, so this is gonna have ghost. This is the one with the class name, and this is gonna have the type of ghost. And this one is a console log one that I. And this is gonna have the type of ghost. Okay, so now let's copy them styles again. Where is that? One? Oh yeah, now I'm just typing it in there. So, so this is basically what I need. I need a border and I need a background color for this. So let's come here and go. So, the background color and the border. And let me see what the color is. So, the color is this. Where was I? There we go. Okay, and now let me get the disabled one. Oh, so that looks really good. That looks damn pretty, boy. Looks damn pretty. We got the disabled one. I think the disabled one is actually a bad thing. It's pretty much what whatever it was in there. Yeah, the disabled one is pretty much that. Except less border. Let me get the border in here. And actually the border is the same. The border is the same. Yeah, the border is pretty much the same, guys. So the color of this is this. This is the color, not this. And is able to change the color to this. Okay. Hmm, that does not look disabled. Does this have an opacity or something? No, I'm missing the opacity. Yeah, okay, I'm missing the opacity on this one. So, yeah, because the opacity is only for the primary. Opacity is 0 0.24. There we go, guys. So this is the disabled ones, and I forgot to do something in the disabled ones. There is, and disabled. Like this, like this. Okay, I did. God damn it, I can't type. Disabled. Cursor, what is the default cursor? Is there a default? Yeah, okay. Does the default work? Yeah, the default works, amazing. So now let's just create the other styles. So, <coughs> for the first one, I'm going to say end, back over, and come over here and see the difference between the hover, this is the background, and I don't think there's any difference between the hover and the active. There's absolutely no difference in the first one. Yeah, there's like zero difference. I think in this one's too, I think the only one that has a difference is the active for the... No, not even that. It has a border bottom that is bigger, but the rest of it this should have... Okay, I'm gonna end hover. I'm gonna lighten this. I darken every single color. Okay, background color. So this is darken, I think. Let me get to the CSS next thing. Yeah. 
this looks nice to write out. I can close this and then go to features and color function and call it okay this is what I want so this is pretty much what I want so color B and I want plus not this I want this plus time okay so this is not the color this is the color and uh, I want to do a little transition I'm gonna actually put the transition on the button it doesn't make any sense to be outside transition background color Hundred milliseconds to this. Okay, there we go. And this, whereas the other doesn't make any sense to be in here because they none of them have hover. So I'm just gonna set it in here. And that's how this works. So if I hover over it, it does nothing. Incredible, guys. So let me come here and actually set, set the hover. I don't think there's any other. Oh, there is, but it's below the thing. Oh, great, guys. Okay, so we may have a problem. So basically, the other. Oops, to, oh, yeah, I'm sending it. Okay. So this is the other for this one. This is the other for this one. And this is the other for the third one. Okay, so this is the color that it's going to have. So the white, will, in this case, will be darkened because it doesn't make any sense to lighten white. So this is just white and will be darken. And in this case, it's this color that will be lighten. Okay, let's check this out. Now I do what unknown color adjuster D. Isn't isn't darken right like that? Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Oh no, it's B. It's black it's uh, it's something else. Okay, B. It's blackness. You write it as blackness, I don't know why. So there we go, and this one gets dark, and this one gets light. Okay, so that is pretty much it. So now, we're gonna get to testing, because isn't testing fun? Just forget about this, just forget about this. Okay, so, this is the only video that I'm actually gonna do testing, and I'm gonna do really simple testing. Uh, so I'm gonna create a new file here in a folder called tests. That is going to be the index.js. And um, I'm going to have to go online and see like the basics of a test snapshot. Testing just, I'm always horrible about starting things. Like if I get like the little thing, I can do whatever the, I want, whatever the hell I want. So this is exactly what I want. I just want React. I don't even need the other one. So I don't need this. I need button. And this comes from bun. Is okay? Okay, so I'm gonna call it tree, okay? Renderer that create. I would never actually use this this like this, probably. Hmm, never use this like this. I never actually had to do a rendering. Oh, this is from 2016. I'm pretty sure this is not the same thing. Okay, so this guy doesn't even show code. That's that's amazing. Yeah, no, this guy keeps importing renderer. Hmm. I'm gonna open up a file here. Open. I'm gonna go to one of my, like, new products. I'm gonna go to a PG trap. And let me come here to the buttons and. This is what I need. This is exactly what I need. Oh, I actually do need the button. That was damn dumb. Okay, so, th is this defined? Okay, so now I need to do this instead of that, and, okay, that is it. Okay, so I need a this. Most of the times, I need something like this. So, open type primary, I don't have a comment, but I release of this. And uh, I'm gonna put some content here, like this test, and close the button. Okay, because the button is like this, and I'm gonna go here and I take the primary test. Okay, so the button is either classic primary, as price primary, but on button that text, click on test. 
And now I'm gonna go here and do yarn dress. So command D. Amazing. Yarn dress. And it's gonna fail at the first time. Oh my god, it's totally fast. Okay, okay. We even have coverage if I can find it. Where's the coverage? Oh god, so my atom is doing that thing where it hides things that I don't want to um, like node modules and stuff. Okay, so let's do this for the secondary button. Oops. So button type equals secondary. So I have class secondary and to and secondary and I'm gonna put a paragraph in here just to test that paragraphs work. It's a pretty damn beautiful paragraph. Or HTML to be. Okay, let's test this. Oh, yeah, if I do HTML, it's gonna return the whole thing. So basically, uh, button that find button. So I need to find the actual button inside of that component and check for its HTML. That's what I want. I don't want like the entire HTML. I don't know what happened. Oh, because I'm pressing on start here and just. It's weird. I need to find a button. Hmm. Button that find button. Text to be work. Hmm. Hmm. Not because it's doing all the whole button thing. I didn't want that. I found P. Yeah, that's what I was needing. So this is pretty much all covered. Let me just do one with the ghost. But it renders the text inside of it. Then adds types. Oh, there was a console log. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and say, how do you define a function? In, in I think it's const. Test equals just that fn. I think it's just this. And I'm going to say type secondary on click equals test. Const test. Okay. That's nice because fn. Okay. It's button that simulate click, I think. So button that simulate. And I say click and I expect test to have been called. Expect. Test to have been called. That would be a lot of things for me to get right at the first time. Can I expect test to have been called? Let's see. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, so that was amazing. So calls fun calls on call function. I had to copy like things from one side to the other. I'm really bad at like starting things. I I didn't remember what I had to report, but that is pretty much it. As you can see, I can actually do tests. And let me see one with the ghost. Let me create one with the ghost. So this is ghost. And so this should have a class ghost and type ghost in here and just change it in here. Let's type. Oh, I updated it. Okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so I need to pick this, but the thing, I think it's passing. Yeah, it's passing. So that's pretty much it. Let me just check our index again. So oh, I need to check if it adds classes. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Okay, let me type, let me remove this. And uh, let me just, this can like stay the same. So I am going to add a class name equal to test and I'm gonna check that if it has a class test. So you can see like testing in jest is pretty amazing guys. Yeah there we go. So all of our lines are covered and that's pretty much all we need. Do you need anything else in a button? I could add like a value but as you can see so this is pretty simple so I can come here and add a string 
and the value can actually be a number. And I don't know why this. Oh, no, 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 no. The value needs to be a string because it will always be evaluated as a string. So, and in here, I'll come value equals props that value. And then I come here. Oh, how do I test the value? I think it's that know that value, something like that. Well, put in renders value. Because it's going to have a value. I'm always going to put value of like 30, something like that. If I put enough class of private, expect on next. Expect button the value. Okay, let's check it. Value just no interest. I, I, I wonder if this is not going to be a tutorial. No, no, this is it. No, this is totally not it. Oh, that props that value. Yeah, button that props that value to be 30. I like this. I think this is it. Let's check. No, this is not it. Expect a string be received on the find. Okay, so this is not it. Get value of input chest. Oh, yeah, the find props that value. This is what I need. Okay, so boom, the find props. Up that find button that props that value to be 30. And there we go. So we had a test, and uh, this thing is completely working as you can see. If you want to add a description, you can do it with JS doc, I think that's the name of that install. So if I do this, I do this and go tab, I can add a description. So child, children, and if I say it's amazing, yeah. Okay, so I oh, will add this eventually. You can add this on your own. Okay, I'm gonna push this all to GitHub and I'll see you tomorrow.